Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. I had somebody ask me a question about punches, and a gentleman by the name of David was asking me, if someone's throwing full power punches at you, whether it's straight punch or haymakers, is the cane going to be able to stop a full power punch? And um, yes, it will, because basically this is a hard piece of wood. If you've got anything that's a hard, solid piece of wood or a piece of pipe or metal, and you hit that arm just right, you're gonna deaden that arm. You're gonna cause nerves. If you hit anywhere on the wrist and elbow, you're gonna cause a pretty good amount of injury. Does that mean that person's gonna hit the ground? No, but it's gonna slow their process down and allow you to either A, hit them, or get away. Now, Mr. Bob's gonna come here and I'm gonna explain something about blocking. I have two forms of ways I do things, whether it's open hand or with a cane, blocking and redirecting. Now, in traditional martial arts, when someone throws a, a technique, and I, if I just lift my arm up and he throws that a wild haymaker, he's going to knock me down. So as he throws it, go ahead, I'm going to cut into it and I'm going to deaden that arm a bit. Okay? So I'm going to cut in, deaden that arm, and it's going to flop a little bit. The arm okay, sir? It will be. It's getting a little, okay, come on out. Sorry. But I, I use my bone to cut into that arm. So, and I've been doing more sorts for 41 years, so my bones are pretty solid. So you want to cut into it. So when you're using a cane, and I'm going to go a lot easier, so we don't injure him. As he throws that technique, I'm going to cut into it, and I'm going to injure that arm. Now, when you injure someone and they, they feel pain, they start to want to go back. Then I can reach out and try to hook him, but what I'm going to do is because he may throw multiple hand techniques. And what I'm going to do is, just go real slow because I don't want to hurt him. Then I'm going to hook him. As he throws that, if I block here and he starts to throw another one, I'm going to cut across. Well, I better hit him real quick because if not, and he starts throwing multiple techniques, one of them is going to slip in. So one of the best things I like to do when I'm blocking, as he throws that technique, as I jam into it is strike him. Now he's going to be more easier to manage, and then I can hook him and do what I want because I'm causing more injury. Now, when you redirect, now our, if he throws a haymaker and I block, boom. He throws a straight punch and I block. Blocking is so I can counter strike or injure the arm. When I want to lock him, and I'm going to, this is going to apply to the cane in a second, I want to do what's called redirecting. So if he's throwing a straight punch, I redirect it. Because if I block real hard, it's going to move that arm out of the way. And now I have nothing. So what I'm doing is he throws that punch, redirect it, and I can go into a lock. He's throwing a haymaker, redirect it, it's still controlled, and I can go into a lock. Well, I'm going to use a foam cane so I don't injure him. So if he's throwing a straight punch, redirect it by simply moving my body as well and not having so much power i'm more pushing his arm out of the way aligning him up to hook him if he's throwing a haymaker same thing redirect it and i'll slow that one down that allows me to use the horn to hook him or go into his knee let me slow that down as he's coming toward me slowly i'm going i'm not striking it to injure that arm where it's going to pull back, I'm going to push it upward, but still control it. This is controlling it, and this is where the hooking mechanism allows me to come in. Because if I bash it real hard, he's gonna pull back, and I'm gonna have to chase him down. So <clears throat> you have blocking, where you wanna jam hard into it to deaden nerves, to injure elbows, joints, <clears throat> and then you can kinda go after them or you have redirecting to where you can move it to where you want it to allow you for a lock or a takedown. So <clears throat> that's my opinion on those techniques. But in a nutshell, David, full power with a hard piece of wood, yeah, you're gonna injure that arm. And the reason it's hard to, to really explain that in class, unless you kind of do what I did where, I'm, where I deadened his nerve with my arm, with my bone, you cannot f f do full power swings. I mean, you get some guy that comes in, oh, 
I'm going to swing your full power. I want to see what we're really going to do. No, you don't, because you're an idiot if you do that. You're, I'm going to break his arm. I would not never allow a student to do that, and I would never hit them super hard with this cane because then I don't have a student, and I'm going to hurt them. You're using the phone cane. allows you to have speed, but you're really not causing a lot of injury because you want to train safe. In the street, pop somebody. I've been hit by a cane pretty hard by myself, and students have hit me pretty hard. And let me tell you, it hurts. So I've been hit real hard in the leg where it's injured me and it hurt me. So Mr. Bob's been hit also. So in a nutshell, when you block, jam it hard into it, deaden that nerve, that'll allow you time, it'll slow them down. Will it stop them 100%? Probably not, but it's gonna make them back up, it's gonna injure something, allow you to get in to finish with a strike. For a takedown, redirect and hook them. So David, I hope that answers your question. Um, if it doesn't, let me know, but I hope it answers your question and it definitely will work. So Gary Hernandez and thank you very much.